Hi, this is Lady Shell. I'd like to introduce you to my new series. It's called Fantasy Grounds Tips for Beginners. I've compiled 25 tips, each with its own description in the title, so you can look at this playlist and pick and choose which ones interest you the most. Or you could just start at one and go right through to 25. They're all between 3 and 10 minutes in length, so if you don't have a lot of time but you want to learn a little bit about Fantasy Grounds, these tips should be helpful. Note that if you're a long-time user of Fantasy Grounds, you may not find this as interesting. I'm aiming my tips to brand new users to give them a look at what Fantasy Grounds can do for their gaming. So sit back, relax, and hopefully you'll learn something new. Now today's tip is going to involve how to add and remove effects from your character. So this is my player screen. I am logged in as Alyssa, Alyssa Bronzehart. This is her sheet. I've got the actions tab opened up, which shows the racial abilities of Dwarven Resilience and Dwarven Stone Cunning. Now it's really simple to add an effect to your character. First, I'm going to open the magnifying glass to reveal the effect and all I have to do to add it to the combat tracker on my name is click on this little man here, which is the effect symbol, and you see it is added to my sheet. I also have the stone cunning um, racial ability, but that only affects history checks which involve stone cunning, so you would not put that on your character unless you were about to do a history check that had to do with stone stonework. So I won't add that, but you can see how I added this one. This is when you start a game, if you have a character that is not human, most uh, other races have effects for their race. Like the dwarf has the Dwarven Resilience, and you can see these other three characters have their effects already added to the combat tracker. The <clears throat> Lydia is a gnome, or she's an artificer. Artif well, that's not her race, but, but her um, artificer's lore is in effect, and uh, her racial, uh, racial uh, ability is her gnome cunning which is this line. Grok is a half-orc, so he has the aggressive trait for his race, and that's displayed here. And Carter is a Warforged, so he has Warforged resilience. He is resistant to poison and advantage against poison, immune to disease and exhaustion. He doesn't need to eat, sleep, or drink, or breathe. That's because he is a construct. So that is how you add things to your uh, character. If for some reason you were, let's say you were cursed. So if I put the cursed effect on myself, you see that it was added to the combat tracker. I can also remove this if I become uncursed by uh, clicking on the winged boot here, which is the last icon on the uh, line here. And you can see here's the Dwarven Resilience on this line and the curse is on this line. To remove the curse, I'm just going to double click on this and the curse is removed. I click the winged boot again and I'm back to a regular display of my combat tracker on my character. So that is how you add or or remove um, effects from your character. Note that if your effect is added by another character, you will not be able to remove it. You can only remove things that you put on yourself. So keep that in mind. So anyway, I hope that was a helpful tip for you and I hope you'll continue to watch the rest of my series of tips and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.